The current administration, led by Executive Mayor Jeffrey Makubo, is blaming the previous administration, led by Herman Mashaba, of maladministration. The executive mayor of Johannesburg, Jeffrey Makubo, held a media briefing to address key issues particularly regarding emergency services, JMPD, and the insourcing of security officers in the city. Today you can confirm that the city of Johannesburg, as it stands at the moment, is near financial collapse and created an environment where maladministration, bordering on fraud and corruption, has thrived. In the emergency management services department, the city, the city currently has in operation only five fire engines to serve 5.5 million residents. This is despite an amount of 172 million rands having been paid upfront to a service provider in contravention of the Municipal Finance Management Act for the delivery, delivery of fire engines which have not yet been delivered. To make matters worse, the specifications upon which this corrupt procurement was made do not meet the operational requirements of the EMS, which is the Emergency Management Services. Emergency Services Department now requires 330 million to ensure that we procure proper fire engines for, for all the fire stations in Johannesburg. This corruption and maladministration will not go unpunished. The Johannesburg Metropolitan Police Department is another critical area of service delivery in the city. The senior management of JMPD has not had a management meeting for over two years. Furthermore, our officers on duty are without critical equipment such as radios, torches, handcuffs, uniforms, and firearms to meet operational requirements. 1,500 new recruits that were paraded as having completed training have been recalled to the academy. The city under this previous administration deployed these officers knowing fully well that they were neither qualified nor ready to perform law enforcement duties, including points duty at major intersections. Moving to insourcing, the initially targeted number of officers to be insourced were 2,910. These officers who at the date of decision were employees of security companies and deployed to the city. These additional 2,110 people employed under the guise of insourcing were illegally recruited and smuggled into the city's employ without any valid and legal process of employment. This is abuse of the city's processes to meet party political ends and to create a sitting constituency whose task was to maintain the status quo in governance. I'm Bryce Nicholson and you're watching Joburg Today.